Julian Kupka, the only survivor of the plane crash over Peru in 1971. This is a very extraordinary and inspiring story. Julian Kupka was the daughter of two German biologists who lived with her parents at a research station in the rainforest of Peru. She was taught by her parents how to survive in the jungle and loved nature. On Christmas Eve 1971, she and her mother boarded Lanza Flight 508 to return to Lima to meet her father. On the way, the plane was struck by lightning and caught fire. She heard her mother say, This is it, it's all over. Then the plane exploded and she fell into the rainforest from a height of two miles still sitting on her seat. When she woke up, she found herself badly injured, with a broken collarbone and a torn knee ligament. She saw no one else alive, not even her mother. She remembered her father's advice. If you get lost in the jungle, follow the river to find people. She started walking through the jungle, struggling with mosquitoes, hunger, thirst, and fear. She also had to face wild animals such as crocodiles, carnivores, and poisonous spiders. She tried to keep her wounds clean by washing them with river water and bandaging them with leaves. She also discovered that her arm was infected and had maggots crawling in it. She recalled her father's advice. If you get maggots, use gasoline to kill them. She found a bottle of gasoline in a piece of plane wreckage and poured it on her wound, then pulled out more than thirty maggots. After ten days of walking, she reached a small farm near the riverbank. She called out, but no one answered. She found a small corner to rest and ate some salt to replenish her electrolytes. The next day, she was found by three local men who took her down to a nearby town and called her father. Her father could not believe his ears when he heard that his daughter had survived. She was taken to a hospital for treatment and recovery. Later, she returned to Germany and followed her parents' career as a biologist. The story of Julianne Kepka has been made into books, movies, and documentaries. She also returned to Peru many times to visit the rainforest and her parents' research station. She said that she was not afraid of flying and felt connected to the rainforest. She also said that she did not regret surviving, but only mourned the loss of her mother. She said, I know that I survived for a reason. I have a good life and I want to do meaningful things.